It's a brand new year and everybody is on a bit of a health kick. Am I right? Slightly overindulged over Christmas. Exactly. And I, for one, would like to eat something slightly more healthy. As would Cat Cool Pearl and Pure and Tainted. Anything you can do. Well, for those two and everybody else, yep. we've got a nice, simple, healthy dish. We're going to make a celeriac slaw, Ooh. some grilled sort of honey and thyme apples and gammon. So it's wow. lean, it's healthy, it's carb-free. Everything you want for the new year. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go on then. So we're going to start with the celeriac. Right. Quite an unusual root vegetable that a lot of people don't use enough of. Like. It does look quite alien like, but brilliant, brilliant uh. vegetable. And all we, <laughs> all we need to do is take off the mucky bits. Right. So it's quite, like all root vegetables, quite tough, really pale inside. Okay. Okay. And all we're going to just do is cut around the edge. We're only going to need half of this. Could you use a peeler to do this? You can, but it's very, very tough. So right. you might find that just actually going around with a, with a knife is easier. Obviously, a coleslaw you'd associate with cabbage and carrot. Yep. Okay, two very common ingredients. We're going to do celeriac and carrot. Okay, so it's a slight twist in coleslaw, but there's your carrot. So if you can peel that, and that is much easier with a, with a peeler. It really is, isn't it? Look how easy that is. Slidey, slidey. So what makes this so healthy? Um, well, actually, because you're having the coleslaw or the celeriac slaw, it's yep. completely raw. So you're not losing any of those nutrients in the right. vegetables. Basically, this dish is going to have two of your five a day, um, and it's using two of your five a day and lean meat as well, nice. healthy from the start to finish. So we cut our celeriac into rough chunks. Um, you've got the carrot there. I've got a carrot. We're also going to put in half an onion. Now, don't forget, we're only using half, but that's not going to go to waste. Stir fries, things like stir fries, great for the new year because they're really healthy, loads of extra veg. Very quick. You know, we're going to make it in this because it's really simple. The grating element on there. Oh, it's just a fun bit where you just chuck it in. And you then... chuck it in and hold the button. Oh. You do that, Jimmy. It's really simple, and same with the carrot. With the guard, with safety, the guard first. safety first. So the onion, a bit more celeria. Beautiful, now you can take the whole thing off. Now a few little bits to get caught, we just yep. lift those off there, we don't need those. Everything else is ready to go, it's in the bowl, oh, so wow. from there you can mix it in. Now, coleslaw, traditionally with mayonnaise, Obviously, we're going for the lighter option, so it's a half fat creme fraiche. So, what is creme fraiche? Because I get confused between creme fraiche, fromage frais. It's like a, it's like a soured cream. Okay. okay, but this is a lighter version, so less fat, and stir with some fresh parsley, and just to give it a real zing. Oh, there's so lemon. This brings out the, sort of the quite savoury flavour of the celeriac, as ever. Salt and pepper. Yep. So we'll leave that to one side, and then we can do the main focus of the dish, which is our gammon and apple. So pork and apple, classic flavours. Goes very well together. Go for yeah. red apple, so we get more colour in there as well. I'm just going to take the top and the bottom off, and then we're just going to cut what's left into three pieces. Just cut around that star bit. You want those seeds out there. So you just want to take out that bit. I'm going to put some thyme in with these apples. So just the leaves, just strip them down. If you basically take the thyme and just rub it with fingers, the take, the time. take the thyme. Just yep. back along the stalk. You don't want the stalk in there, you just want the leaves. And a squeeze of honey, just enough you have to rub into a second. A bit of salt, pepper. Make sure the honey and the thyme get into all the little crevices inside there. So into the holes of the apples. Now the protein of this dish is gamut. It's a relatively lean meat. The fat is around the outside. So it's not marbled through it. So we can take all of that off of there. Is gammon like a, a thick bacon? Yeah. Right. Now this can go onto our grill. So a really hot grill. And the gammon's going to go on one side. Notice no fat. So you don't need to oil this or anything Absolutely like that. no fat. Again, we're keeping this mega healthy. Awesome. And our apple rings on the other side. And then close the whole thing down, and that just needs a couple of minutes to cook. Obviously, our slaw is ready, and then everything can come together, and we can eat a really healthy midweek meal for the new year. So we've had about the three minutes, and you oh, can God, smell it already. Caramelising apples. Yeah, mm. let's have a look. There we go. So we'll just leave that there as we plate up our Amazing. slaw on this side. What's your New Year's resolution been then? Eating healthily is one thing, yep. but for me it's actually, strange enough, eating more. It's having breakfast. I'm a bad one when it comes to missing out on breakfast. Really? But it's better to have a healthy breakfast to get your metabolism up and going, and then you can enjoy food for the rest of the day. So more food for me. More food. <laughs> Mine's possibly the opposite. Portion size. I eat healthy meals, but I probably just eat too many of them. Ah, so you're going to cut back on the cut portion, back on the portion size. size. So I'm glad you cut that into half. But it's all you need, although I am going to put all the three apples on, because <laughs> that's the fruity bit. And that fantastic caramelisation of the honey on the grill. It's lovely. The apple and the gammon go onto the plate like that. And a little bit of dill from the garden. There we go. So for the new year, something a little bit lighter, a little bit healthier. It's our carb-free celeriac slaw, gammon and apple, sorted. Right, dig in, Jay. Let's do it. 
Mm, that's amazing, Ben. Who'd believe that's, it was healthy? I know. There's no carbs in it, though. No. Atkins friendly. So this is our New Year's resolution for being slightly more healthy. We would love to know what your food-based New Year's resolutions are. Just indeed. comment below.